Hi, I'm Snorlaxan. And I'm Lulu the Pikachu. We're both competitive Pokemon players who compete in Pokemon Sun and Pokemon Moon matches. For those of you who don't know your Pikachus from your Porygons, we're here to kickstart your Pokemon Sun and Pokemon Moon journey, all the way from the very basics up to competing in battles with your friends and family. And for those of you who are already on your way to becoming a Pokemon Master, this series will be packed with loads of hints and tips that will have you thinking like a true ace trainer and then you'll be able to compete among the very best. In the previous video, we showed you the different types of Pokemon battles, so now it's time to perfect those battling skills and become the ultimate Pokemon trainer. So, you've beaten the game and you want to start playing competitively. How do you go about that? I think the first thing you have to realise is that the team you used in-game isn't necessarily going to be vile in a competitive environment. You often have to start from scratch with your team, and you're going to have your work cut out for you in terms of having to breed all the Pokémon to have superior stats, and to also make sure that your team has a strong, clear strategy when you bring it to a competitive battle. Some of the most popular strategies include weather and terrain. With weather, there are lots of things that you could use. For example, Torkoal, which sets up the sun, or Ninetales, which sets up hail. With terrain, you're usually going to want to use all of the Tafus, and they're all viable. All of them have their own unique ability when they enter the battlefield, creating a terrain that has a certain effect on the battle. For example, Tapu Koko has Electric Surge, which means that no Pokémon can fall asleep while the electric terrain is active. This can be a really cool strategy if you predict your opponent to use a move like Spore that will send one of your Pokémon to sleep. If you switch in your Tapu Koko and set off the electric terrain, your Pokémon is going to be wide awake and able to attack that turn. Competitive Pokémon is all about trying to predict what your opponent's going to do and countering that. For example, if their team has a lot of water types, you might want to consider bringing a Gastrodon. Gastrodon has the ability Storm Drain. This redirects all water type attacks to it, except it takes no damage and its special attack increases. This means that it's a really great counter to teams that rely on water-based moves. For example, Pelipper and Golduck, which is a really common theme at the moment in the competitive circuit. These are only a few examples of the hundreds of different strategies that you can apply to a Pokémon battle. But to be honest, the best way to figure out which strategy is best for you is to really get involved in your local competitive scene. You can easily do this by logging onto Pokémon.com and seeing what events are going on in your local area. Not only then will you be getting plenty of battle practice, but you'll be meeting trainers from all over the area. Ultimately, creating a strategy with your favourite Pokémon is the most rewarding way to play. As it's the last episode of the series, we've got a very special competition this week. We're giving away a new Nintendo 3DS XL Solgaleo and Lunala Limited Edition, a copy of Pokemon Sun and Pokemon Moon, a Pikachu, Litten, Rollet and Poplio plush, as well as a Pokemon Z-Ring and Crystals. For your chance to win this incredible prize, comment down below what Pokemon is your favourite or tweet us at Nintendo UK using this hashtag. So there we have it, that's the end of our series. We've covered the basics of Pokemon, catching Pokemon, battling Pokemon, building a strong team, and giving you a full overview of the Alola region. So now it's your turn to venture out into the tropical Alola region. Please comment below any hints, tips, and discoveries you make on your adventure. Don't forget, if you did enjoy this video, to leave us a thumbs up down below, and to subscribe to Nintendo UK on YouTube so that you can watch the rest of the videos in this series. Thanks for watching. Bye, guys.